Woo! Welcome everybody, Gaming Mike here. We're back in the Elder Scrolls Online. Online, and Morrowind is here, finally. June 6th, release day. We're gonna be playing our first play of Morrowind. I've randomized the character. I've created a Wood Elf Warden, because I wanted to try out the new Warden class, and I figured Wood Elves, you know, they're all nature-y. So, I've got a Wood Elf Warden, plus I didn't have a Wood Elf character before, uh, yet, so... Trying that out. I don't think I do anyway. I might. Anyway, so this is what he looks like. Uh, what should we name him? Alright, that's his name. Skadit. That's out of a name generator. I have played through the tutorial with a previous character. You may choose to play through it again or skip it. Yes, let's skip the tutorial. If you'd like to see that, I do have a first play of character creation and the tutorial on my channel in the Elder Scrolls playlist. You should be able to click the little letter I in the top right of the video and see that playlist if you're so interested. Let's, uh, let's take a peek at uh, some Warden skills really quick. So the Warden is a new class. I don't even know what they're based on. Probably some magic. I'll probably need some stamina too. I'm gonna plop one in stamina and magic because that's my best guess as to what this is based on. Skill lines allow you to customize your combat style to fight the way you want. You can select abilities to learn more about what they do. Yada yada. Standard skills. Okay. So we've got three major warden skill classes here. Animal Companions, Green Balance, Winter's Embrace. Uh, from Animal Companions, I've got Dive. Command a Cliff Racer to dive bomb the enemy. I'll just call a bird? The Cliff Racers are those big pterodactyl looking things, right? I think so. Then it goes on to Scorch. Stir a group of Shulk that attack after three seconds. So it's all summoning animal based with the Warden. They're like the animal controllers. Dealing magic damage. <laughs> a swarm of Fetcher Flies. Oh no. Betty Netch. You can summon a Betty Netch? That's badass. Oh, I love it. Falcon Swiftness. Invoke the Spirit of Agility to gain Major Expedition. Nice. So there's a buff to speed. Movement speed by 30% and Major Endurance. Increasing your stamina. Okay. Beastmaster. Yes, Laz. It's the Beastmaster class. Plus this one. Bond with nature. When one of your animal companions is killed or unsummoned, you're restored 630 health. Savage Beast. Activating an animal companion ability grants two ultimate. Increase magicka and stamina. Yes, magicka and stamina. Okay, that was a good guess. Increases your damage done by 1% for each animal companion ability slotted. Nice. So that's animal companions. We got green balance. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Animal companions, the ultimate. Feral guardian. Rouse a loyal grizzly to fight at your sides. Yeah, I've seen in the trailers they showed off the grizzly bear a lot. So that's the ultimate. Once summoned, you can activate Guardian's Wrath for 75 ultimate, yada yada. Grizzly's attacks do an additional 3% damage, sweet. Green balance. Um, we'll take a look at the moves first. Fungal growth, seed a large area of mushrooms that heals you. So the, he the Warden has healing. It's a frontal cone of mushroom healing. Healing seed summons a field of flowers which blooms after 6 seconds, nice. A field of flowers, how lovely. Living vines, grow vines to embrace you or the lowest health ally in front of you. Healing again. Lotus flower, embrace the lotus healing, causing light attacks to restore health and heavy attacks to restore even more health for you or a nearby ally. Wow. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty good. Lotus flower. Nature's grasp, swing to targeted ally, healing them for a lot of health over 10 seconds. Wowie. Accelerated growth, increases healing. Nature's gift. Healing an ally with green balance, you get more magicka and stamina. Nice. Increase healing done for green balance abilities by 1% each. Maturation. When healing you or an ally, it grants them minor toughness, which increases max health by 10% for 5 seconds. Nice. Very, uh, very healery on the green balance. And then the ultimate. Instantly swell a healing forest around you or an ally in the area, restoring 4,075 health. The forest continues to heal you and all allies in the area. <laughs> for six more seconds. Nice. Wow. Powerful healing there. And then Winter's Embrace. Frost Cloak. Wrap a thick cloak of ice around you and nearby allies. So it's shieldy. shields these. Great. Skewer enemies with icy shards. Nice. Arctic... Oh, sorry. That was Impaling Shards. Arctic, Arctic Wind. Envelop yourself in Winter Winds. Healing for 10%. That's another healer, but with the ice. Nice. Crystallized shield. Spin a shield device around you to absorb projectiles. Excellent. Frozen gate. Summon an ancient portal. An enemy that runs over it is teleported to you and rooted for three seconds. Whoa, look out for the frozen gate. Alright, so that's frozen gate. 
Then he's got Glacial Presence. Increased chance of applying chill to enemies. Okay. Increase your physical and spell resistance. Great. Uh, that was with Frozen Armor. Icy Aura. Reduce the effectiveness of snares. And Piercing Cold. Increase your magic and frost damage. Nice. And then Sleet Storm. Instant area effect. Twist a violent storm around you, causing nearby enemies to take damage, frost damage every second for 8 seconds. Movement speed reduced. Nearby allies get major protection. Wow. Sleet Storm. So. I can be a Beast Master. Or a, a Forest Hippie Healer. Or a Chili Princess Elsa or her sister. Whichever one had the frost powers. I forget. Type. <laughs> Nice, and I've got three skill points to spend, so let's put one in dive, because I want to see some of these uh, cliff racers come dive bombing out of the air. First skill, dive. Excellent. So that auto assigned to square. That's my square attack. And then green balance has the healing. Winter's embrace. I'm thinking I'll take uh, a little bit of animal companions and... and uh, I mean, maybe I should try one from each. But it, I think the frost has a little bit of healing with it, which is good. I don't want to be a full-blown healer, I think. I don't know. Maybe I should try them all. You think so? Let's try them all. Fungal growth. Might as well. We've got three skill points. We've got three skill lines. Let's do it. So I've got armor on circle. I've got healing on triangle. And I've got... My... my. Oh, hold on. i got to see this. Let's see if we can... Hey, buddy. Wow! Look out! <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's healing. I don't need to do that right now. Oh, wait. Ice. That's great. I love summoning a cliff racer out of the sky, though. That's hilarious. I really love that. Animal companion skill up. So there's a good look at the warden, then. That's great. You can see uh, on my arms that frost armor was just on my arms. There. The frost on the arms. That's awesome. It's kind of transparent. My arms turn to ice. Real quick, thanks to everybody for joining me. Appreciate you being along for the ride. Thanks for chatting along. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're digging this Morrowind action. I sure am. Seems like a cool class. You could be a balanced combo of everything. Tank, healer, DPS. Yeah, Irving John. It, uh, it looks like it could go, yeah, either way. Damage or healer. And then the combo with the frost stuff. So that's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. 